To create this look, you're going to need two eyeshadows, one matte mustard shade, and one matte reddish brown. You're also going to need a black liner pencil, some falsies and mascara, and an eyeshadow primer. This is going to give our eyeshadows something to hold on to so that they last longer while also creating a blank canvas for us to work on. The very first step is to create some depth and darkness at the root of the lashes. This is a very important part of a smoky eye. To do this, I'm going to take that black liner pencil and apply this right across the lash line. You can make this as thick or as thin as you like. It's totally up to how dramatic you want it to be. The thicker the line is, the deeper and darker and more dramatic the look will be. I'm also going to apply this onto the upper and lower waterline and slightly underneath the eyes as well. And you should end up with something that looks like this and it's supposed to look super messy so don't worry. Then we're going to take our ring finger and start to blend and smudge this out. Don't apply too much pressure. You want to do a tapping and pushing motion. Almost kind of like swiping on your phone. It's a press and slight movement. Tapping along to blend out the liner. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Once again, super messy. The first shadow that we're going to use is that ready brown shade. I'm using a small brush and I'm smudging this over the top of the black and onto the lid as well. You want to slowly build this up making sure there's lots of depth right at the lash line and then blending upwards to cover the lid only. And you want to repeat the same process underneath the eyes. With a clean blending brush, we're going to remove any of those harsh lines before we apply any more shadow. To do this, keep your hand quite low and also hold the brush at the end of the handle. And slowly sweep over and back, making sure not to apply any shadows at this stage, just using the clean brush and allowing it to work and create that soft blend. We can then take that yellow mustard shade and apply it with that same brush in pretty much the same area. So above the lid into the crease of the eye and blending all the way around and underneath as well. You might find that you need a little bit more shadow, a little bit more liner, or a little bit more of a blend, but that's okay. Just very slowly build up a smoky eye. That's the biggest tip I can give you. I then finished off with lots of mascara and some lashes, and as a bonus step, if you wanna make this kind of festive, you can add some glitter. So I took a little bit of glitter and I applied this on the inner corner and tapped it across the lid. Or you can add more of a spooky feel just by drawing two little lines, one longer than the other. Draw little kind of dots at the end, kind of like little spiders. 
and then even apply a little bit of that glitter onto those little spiders. And there you go. And you have a festive or a spooky finish. I hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, be kind to yourself. The world is hard enough without you also being hard on yourself. You're doing the best you can. Thank you.